In this video, I will compare Studio Ninja versus HoneyBook and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So I'll go over what exactly they do, what they offer, who they are for, and just which one I think is best depending on what you are looking for. So first let's go over what exactly they do, starting with Studio Ninja. So Studio Ninja is the world's highest photography business app, so it's specifically created for photographers. Now in terms of the features to help photographers, you can see they will help you with online booking. So automatically book clients while you sleep, so you can just set up a booking system. And then they will also help you with lead management, so it kind of works as a CRM, which convert leads into sales even when you are offline. For example, through automatic trigger emails and more. Then it also helps you with job tracking and you can set up workflow automations. You can send quotes and contracts. You can also collect payments and see analytics. So the payments go through PayPal and Stripe. You can connect either one of those. And it integrates with some tools such as QuickBooks, Xero, and again, PayPal and Stripe. Then there's also a mobile app. Now comparing this to HoneyBook, HoneyBook offers many of the same features, but it's not specifically created for photographers. HoneyBook is really for anyone who has clients. So if you work with clients, then HoneyBook can be used because you can send invoices, contracts, you can book and schedule meetings, automate workflows, track inquiries, manage projects, send forms and questionnaires, and accept online payments. Now under features you will see some more, so HoneyBook AI and HoneyBook Finance. Now in terms of pricing, you can see HoneyBook right here. If you want to bill monthly, it starts at $19 per month, then the Essentials plan is the most popular plan at $39 per month and Premium is $79 per month. Comparing this to Studio Ninja, you can see their pricing starts at $16 per month, where you have one user, one brand, one contact form, and five active jobs. But here you don't have the online booking form or workflow automation, which are some pretty useful features. So for those, you will need to have the pro plan at $27 per month, where you have unlimited jobs, three online booking forms, and workflow automation. Then in the master $40 per month plan, you have three brands, and for the rest of this, it's all unlimited. But for example, in the starter plan that is $19 per month on HoneyBook, you already have unlimited clients and projects, invoices and payments, proposals and contracts. You have the calendar, all professional templates, a client portal and basic reports. Now for the scheduler, you will also need to have the more premium $39 per month plan. So that's the same in both of these tools. But for example, if you want unlimited online booking forms, on Studio Ninja, for that, you will need to have the $40 per month plan on HoneyBook 39, so it doesn't really matter which one you pick in terms of pricing. Now, in terms of customer reviews, you can see on Captera, Studio Ninja has 67 reviews and it scores 4.4 stars out of 5. Now, HoneyBook, on the other hand, has 637 reviews and it scores 4.7 stars out of 5, which is slightly better. Now, overall, which one should you pick, Studio Ninja or HoneyBook? So, in my opinion, HoneyBook is better because it offers more features and I have personally tried both of them and I think HoneyBook is much nicer to use and it's easier to get the hang of it, but you will have additional features compared to Studio Ninja, such as managing projects, tracking your finances very well and monitoring cash flow, seeing how much you spend on each specific project and much more. And if you are a photographer, even though Studio Ninja is specifically created for photographers, I do still think that HoneyBook is better. Now, recently I created a full tutorial for HoneyBook. So if you want to save some time on getting started with HoneyBook, I'll leave a link to that video down in the description. So that concludes this comparison of Studio Ninja versus HoneyBook. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.